Good morning. So, those of you, I know some of you, who took the first and the second shot. Yeah. Now you're expected to take the third one. It's coming to Sweden right now, yeah? This week, I think. So, just take it. Yes. And why do you need the third shot, you think? Well, they said the first and the second one was fantastic and was going to work, but maybe it is because they didn't work. It's a possibility, right? But just take the shot, yes. You know, I will be watching you. I will be looking for signs. I will look for changes in your appearance. Maybe your tongue is, will start to hang out or something. <laughs> yeah, but just take the shot, yes. Great. Yeah, I will talk about Fauci and Trump and Israel. Right? Now, Israel uh, is interesting because they were the first to begin mass jabbing. I read this in mainstream media, by the way. Yeah. About 80% of adult Israelis received double doses and almost all took the Pfizer. So, what happened? What does it look like? This is what they say. What does it look like after just over six months? Not good. The number of new cases increased dramatically again in August uh, at Israel's largest hospital in Tel Aviv. Researchers discovered as early as June that the number of protective antibodies began to drop dramatically among medical staff. And now more than 1.4 million Israelis took the third one. Well, that's the solution, isn't it? The first and the second one didn't work, but the third one will. Yes, so that's the solution that they present. So, there you go. You should take the third one. <laughs> and I will be watching you. Yes. Now, Fauci, he was on CNN. And I thought, this is like a storyteller, this guy. Yeah, it's like a kid's show. Yes. He's telling stories on CNN, this guy Fauci. And the viewers, they are like little kids, you know, with big ears, listening, going, oh, wow. Yeah. He might as well tell stories like, uh, oh, there was this beautiful princess. Uh, she was walking through the forest. She came to this little house, and then there was this uh, dragon, this magic dragon, and uh, an evil dwarf, you know. He could tell stories like this. He might as well. Yeah. The kids show. Uh, this time he said that um, the epidemic might drag on until spring 2022. How does he know this? <laughs> Sounds a bit like these climate hysteria guys, these researchers. Yes. Oh, in 10 years we will all burn. Yeah. Sounds a bit like this. So, spring 2022. And then he said, he, he, he misspoken in the last interview. He said, he said that it would persist through fall 2022. This was wrong. You see? He said, yeah, I misspoken. Um, yeah. And then he said, even the prediction of spring of a spring victory uh, would only be realistic if the Americans had so who had thus far avoided getting the shot if they changed their minds yeah then it would be realistic spring 2022 yeah yeah and then there was this big guy who came to the little house <laughs> you see and the, the, the evil dwarf got scared and the little princess, the beautiful princess, uh, she was caressing the, the magic dragon. Well, this is the stuff. Yeah. And now finally Trump, yes, he was telling his supporters to take the shot, yes, at this Alabama rally recently. I saw it. And I'm now talking about myself, yeah. 
but I just felt this crash, big crash. It was coming from this high point and it totally crashed in my opinion, right? Yeah. There were some people booing, yeah, at the rally. And it, I think it proves my point. We can't hope for anyone, any authority, anywhere, not even Trump, who is not a real politician, or maybe he is now, I don't know, to do something about this. We have to do it ourselves. Yeah. All right. Be good.